we are actually back with another a7 II cinematic video settings video now you guys have been seeming to basically love the old video and i've been getting a lot of comments recently saying that it isn't the best production quality i'm actually going to be redoing that video here in 2023 bear with my screen it's it's been a it's been a a long journey with my a7 II here so firstly what we want to go ahead and do is make sure our file format in the first tab and the second i guess you can say option over it's going to be file format we want to make sure our format is in the highest thing so make sure it's in xavcs that's going to be giving you the best bit rates the best actual you know video recording and the best file sizes out of the sony a7 II. And after you do that, you want to go down to your record setting. And in the record setting, this will basically give you um, basically your frame rate. So if you want to do 24 frames per second, you are going to hit the 24p that you see right here on the screen, that third option. Now, if you wanted to do 30p, which is basically kind of just a little bit faster than 24p you know six more frames faster you can do that but then if you want to do any slow motion here on the sony a7 ii you actually can do 1080p in 60 frames per second and that's going to be that very top option that you see there so um to get the cinematic settings we're going to basically be doing 24p and after you do that make sure your dual video recording is off and you want to go over to your second well your third menu once you go over to the third menu you want to go ahead and make sure your focus area is on center so after you do all that you can basically hit your button and it'll take you all the way back out to the screen if i had a lens on here you would be actually seeing the table below me but i don't have a lens in here and i do not have an sd card in here so this is going to be the setting that a lot of people kind of get wrong and that's going to be your shutter speed I'm gonna make sure that shutter speed is one over 50. So one slash 50, you're gonna see it right here at the bottom of the screen. You wanna make sure that is double of whatever you set your frame rate to. So if you just went 30, this has to be one over 60. If you went 60 frames, this will have to be one over 120. So this will basically give you the quickest motion or the smoothest motion and if you're looking for a cinematic motion, you want to make sure that this bad baby is set double of what your actual frame rate is. So in this case scenario, we're going to be setting it to 1 over 50. Now, after you have all of that set, one of the things that I like to do here in the Sony a7 II is I want to make sure my actual white balance is set correctly. So we're going to go over here to the fourth tab and then go down to white balance. Once we get into white balance, I usually like to set it myself. So right now in the room, we have it set to 5,000. And I usually like to do a little bit of a tweak on the white balance. So if you click on it, and then you press over, and you press over again, it's gonna give you this, uh, basically like this color chart. And usually what I do is, I wanna make sure I go down one towards magenta, and then I go over to the right, which is going to be towards the orange area on our, basically our color spectrum here. And make sure it's going to say this here up top when you're setting this. And basically you're off to the races. Um, remember your color temperature will change during, you know, certain videos and during different color casts and if you're shooting with different lights that's actually going to change now the last thing we want to change is going to be our metering mode now the metering mode is going to basically determine what our exposure is going to be for our frame if you're trying to get the most cinematic video you want to make sure you're actually exposing it correctly so in this case scenario we want the camera to basically give us the exposure off of everything that is in the center. So we're gonna keep this on center. Now, if you use multi, it's gonna work the same way, but the a7 II isn't as quick as processing as newer cameras. So it takes a little bit of extra time to actually get that uh, metering mode and the exposure to be set when you're actually using multi. And I found out that it works a little bit quicker with the autofocus when this is actually set to center 
Now, lastly, and of course, definitely not least, we're going to be setting the picture profile. So you want to hit that menu button again, and then you want to go over to the fifth tab. Once you get into the fifth tab, you want to go to picture profile. Now, in this case scenario, your picture profile will probably be different. And I have set my picture profile one to the one that I want to use. Now, you can do this on any of these other ones, but the one that I'm using today, where I'm going to be showing you guys about the settings is going to be picture profile one. So once you click into picture profile one, well, not into it, but you click over and it's going to bring you the options of picture profile one. Now I have my black level at zero. I don't touch any of the levels. The only thing I touch in my picture profile is going to be my gamma and my color mode. Now in here, I don't necessarily use S log on a 72 anymore. And we can say that for another video, but I feel like Cine one gives you the best quality and it still retains a lot of dynamic range. So make sure your gamma is set to Cine one and your color mode is actually set to ITU 709, which is basically Rec 709, which is regular TV standard. So you don't want it to basically be anything different or it's going to have to be transformed in your program. Anyways, that's actually going to be it. That's going to be the picture profile, the metering mode, basically the shutter speed and the frame rates of how to get the most cinematic video here out of the Sony a7 II. Now, this is a lot different from my last tutorial that you guys have been killing, but this is going to be a little bit different. I have updated it and found some things that I wanted to change and update in this video that you guys should know about. So this is going to be it here. This is going to be the Sony a7 II cinematic video settings. And like I said, please, you know, look past how bad my screen is for my a7 II. I will be having the settings pop up on the screen over there so you guys can actually see it and know exactly what to set it to and don't necessarily have to kind of look past all my scratches here on my Sony a7 II. Anyways, whenever I change this cinematic video settings on this camera, I will be updating this actual video. If you guys have been enjoying the video so far or haven't seen the rest of my videos, make sure you guys go and check them out. If you just don't happen to be new here, make sure you guys are hitting that subscribe button and hit that like button if you just so happen to enjoy the video. Anyways, it's me, your boy Christian, and I'll see you guys on the next one.